Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So version 5.5 of the Vivaldi web browser for desktop has finally started rolling out. And that was earlier today on the 5th of October 2022. Now, this is a jam-packed release and there's quite a lot going on with a lot of new features, a whole lot of um, different improvements, fixes, security updates. And also, um, we've been upgraded to the latest Chromium version. Um, in this release as the browser is based on the open source Chromium platform. Now there's quite a lot to get through so I'm going to try and do this as quick as possible for the purposes of this video. Now there's a new tasks panel in the sidebar. So if you use the sidebar and um, that's integrated now into the sidebar which lets you create and track your to-do list without leaving the browser and you can also add the following when you create a new task and um, that's the due date, set repetitions, uh, location, description, including any relevant URL and reminders. And you can also view your tasks in the built-in Vivaldi calendar. So if you do use the calendar, uh, the tasks is now integrated into the calendar in the browser. And you can view your tasks directly now in your calendar now, if you do use the calendar uh, in the Vivaldi browser. Now they've also enhanced um, the speed with the address field, the address bar. So parts of the address field logic have been rewritten to improve speed. So this is a bit of a performance boost. So if you are a fast typer, Vivaldi says, um, if you have encountered uh, any issues previously, um, well, if you are a fast typer entering um, into the address field and the address bar, you should see an enhanced speed improvement now. So that's a nice performance boost regarding the address field and those improvements. And then um, if you are using Vivaldi um, on Windows 11, the browser now has snap support in version 5.5. So if you go up to your maximize button, you'll see finally the browser has snap support for Windows 11. So you can choose your different layout as an example. And I'm just going to go there and there you go. There's just a different layout. One of the layouts you can choose if you are using a Vivaldi version 5.5 now, which now has snap support on Windows 11. So that's a nice improvement for Windows 11 users. And then the mail calendar and feed reader. So that's mail, uh, the calendar and the feed reader have now been upgraded to version 1.2. So that's um, received some improvements with a version upgrade now to 1.2. And um, some other improvements is that um, they've improved the mail and calendar onboarding. And basically, um, this makes setting up accounts much easier by automatically fetching the required mail and calendar accounts. So that's another improvement for uh, the mail and the calendar in the browser. So those are getting quite a lot of attention uh, with this latest upgrade. And there are mail forgery improvements, which will help you ensure you do not fall basically victim to an email scam, as an example. So uh, Vivaldi says there um, are still improvements to be made in regards to the mail forgery improvements, but the email client should now be better at detecting fraud emails that appear to be valid in previous uh, versions of the Vivaldi web browser. So that's mail forgery improvements now, which is a bit of a, a security boost for the browser. And then as mentioned, over and above that, version 5.5 comes with a long list of bug fixes, improvements, security uh, improvements, and so on. And if you'd like to see if you have this latest version on Windows, as always, we head to the menu, help, check for updates and if it hasn't updated already this will force the update in the browser and if we just head back to the menu this time help about and um, this will just take us to the about page and let me just zoom in here quickly so we can see this better in the video and the latest version in build now as mentioned is 5.5.2805.32 and it's also been upgraded to Chrome version 106, which is the latest version of the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on. And that will also include all the security fixes that have rolled out over the last week or so for the Chromium, uh, the Chromium web browser. So important to double check your browser is up to date, even if you're not in interested in new features, just to get those security improvements for the Chromium platform. So that's it. That's more or less. Uh, what's new in version 5.5 which has now finally started rolling out as mentioned earlier today on the 5th of october 2022 so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one